Antojitos mexicanos, la granacha. Mexican appetizers. You're invited. Many of you probably believe you have eaten in authentic Mexican restaurants because the sign out in front says authentic Mexican restaurant. But the truth is that if they put that sign out there, they are almost never authentic Mexican restaurants. They may have delicious food, but it isn't authentic. Now today, we're looking at authentic Mexican food. And what I'm talking about is food that you actually eat in Mexico. Esta comida sí se encuentra en México. The reason this food is not always served in the restaurants that are called authentic is because most Americans wouldn't easily be able to eat the food that is eaten throughout Mexico. Now not everybody in Mexico eats the very same food, but the food there is uh, often so very different. Okay, me quito. Lo siento, lo siento. Ah, disculpe, señora. Yeah, the food there is often so different that uh, I've taken students on a field trip to eat in a Mexican restaurant and they weren't even able to eat the food. So, if you're going to do good business in this country, you have to serve food that people can actually eat. All those extra fixings that you see her putting on there, the diced tomatoes, uh, some of the cheese and lettuce, I can't tell what else she's putting on there, but if she's putting on sour cream, I don't think she is, but when she does, these extra things, these extra toppings are there just to make the people here who are not used to authentic Mexican food comfortable. And so there's nothing wrong with that, of course, but uh, don't expect to find that down there in the heart of Mexico. I'll tell you, I never do. Many times the tacos served in Mexico are even smaller than these. Now, these are flour tortillas. Son de harina, verdad? Oh. oh, these are corn tortillas. Yes. Okay. I'm going to add... To make it... Okay, when... In a little bit, I'm going to ask her to make me uh, a variety of tacos. And I'm going to order in, in English because this woman speaks very good English. Uh, she has spent some time in California living there and time here, but she originally is from, you are from where? Cuernavaca, Morelos. Okay. So that's the city and the state. Remember that Mexico is called the United States, of, uh, the United Mexican States. So that's the United States also. Now, she's going to make me, I would like, uh, can you make me three different kinds of tacos or but what would they be? Um, al pastor. Al pastor. Is, Can you explain that to them in English? It's uh, marinade pork with uh, with pineapple and um, carne asada, the steak, and um, chorizo, that sausage, Mexi Mexican sausage. It's a little spicy. That's good. You're going to like it. Okay, she says I'm going to like it, so I don't have any choice. Let's uh, put the camera on her, on her cooking while she she's flipping these corn tortillas. Remember, in some places, these things are made by hand. Did you ever make corn tortillas a mano, where you used to live? Did you ever make yeah, them by hand? We made that. Sorry. When you were growing up? When I... Uh I learned with my mom. She's the one. She's an expert to make uh, corn tortillas, and we do. We make those sometimes. Um, that's uh, marinade pork. Okay. Oh, okay. 
Okay. I'm sorry. I'm marinated, sorry. marinated pork. Yes. So when you were young, you did you buy some of your tortillas at the store, or did you make them all? Um, I do both. We used to do both. So we do both. Um, you still do? Yes. We made those uh, on the weekends, and we buy the tortillas from from the store too. She's an expert making uh, corn tortillas. I'm learning. Um, we do good. <laughs> it's a lot of work to make those by hand, the tortillas. Uh huh. Yes, it is. But um, we kind of like cheat a little bit. We have a machine to to make the corn tortillas. But in Mexico, we we do it by hand. Are like, uh, do at my mom's age, they do it by hand. But now in my age, we have a machine and we kind of like cheat in doing the corn tortillas. Can we get your mother on the camera? Is that okay? Sure. Uh, no, 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 más para hablar y para ver. Just, just, just so we can. No. Señora, usted todavía prepara o hacen las tortillas a mano, no más a mano? Sí. Es mucho trabajo, ¿no? Sí. ¿Pero le gusta? Sí, sí, me gusta. Me gusta hacer. ¿Cuántas tortillas come usted al día? ¿Cuántas me como? Tres. ¿Y qué, qué, qué se ponen las tortillas? Me las como con el guisado, lo que vaya uno a comer, el guisado que uno hace para el día. ¿Carne? Uh -huh. Carne de res, pollo, puerco. Legumbres. Uh -huh. Sí, comemos brócoli, espinacas. Huevos. Okay, this one right here, it's uh, carne asada and it's a steak. This one right here, it's marinade pork with pineapple. And the last one over here, it's uh, sa Mexican sausage. It's chorizo, al pastor, y carne asada. I see that you have more than one tortilla. What's going on? Uh, that it comes with two tortillas. It's two shells. That's the uh, that's the way they make the tacos in Mexico with two shells. Yes, I'm just trying to let the students hear you explain it. Okay. So we, we would use you would, in, in Mexico. We would expect to find it like this. Now, yes. this wouldn't be served like this in the restaurants that are called authentic Mexican restaurants here. Not usually, would they? Ah, uh, no, no. Have you ever eaten the food in the authentic, in the restaurants that are called authentic Mexican restaurants? Have you ever, that is in our country here, have you ever eaten that food in Mexico? Um, nope. Honestly, no. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what, what will we put on this? Do you use sour cream or do you use a cream de, 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 de chiva or? No, um. We only put uh, onions and cilantro. That's that's the only thing we put on the tacos. Only when the customers ask, we can put sour cream. But we only put onions and cilantro. That's why I asked <laughs> because people are, in this country, of course, are used to putting all kinds of things on it. Yes. But that's not the way it is eaten. Nope. In the land where it comes from, where, where these come from. Uh huh. Okay. And we put a little bit of lime, a lemon. Okay, so we have here the three tacos and let's see if I can remember what these are called oh well I'd rather just eat them we have a sauce a salsa that's kind of red and then one that's uh, green the green one is milder when they say the other one is picante that means it's hot I will put some of this mild salsa on this first one here I see they put a an herb on there called cilantro along with you can see diced cebolla and I'm going to put some of this on there. When you travel through Mexico, this is a really ordinary thing to find. I'm going to let the camera roll now as I eat this uh, so that you can enjoy it along with me. I see they have given me a Coke, so I'll drink that too. Not my choice to tell you the truth, but that's what they recommended, so we'll do it. Normally, when you ask a Mexican for mild hot sauce, They'll give you something that what most people in this country would consider pretty hot, picante. And if you ask them for something, salsa that doesn't have any hot in it, that it's not hot at all, 
they'll give you something that is pretty mild. They don't seem to understand what it is to have nothing in it that's picante. That's part of the fun of eating their food. So it's not that the food that you eat in the other restaurants that say they're Mexican, but aren't really, it's not that their food isn't good. Their food is very good. But you see, there's a lot of adventure in eating food that you're not used to. So come on over and try it. You gotta be brave like I've told you before. I think I've told you before. You gotta be brave and try this stuff. Some of it you can learn to like real well. Some of it you'll like right away. One of the reasons this is truly Mexican is that in Mexico you don't normally have ground beef, carne molida. Uh, you'll get that where people are trying to make the food comfortable for most U.S. citizens. They'll use a lot of hamburger because that's the way most people in this country think of a taco. All right, well, it's been great being with you today to show you something that is a good picture of how little people can know about each other. I mean, imagine, since most people in our country don't speak another language and they don't really know what the food from Mexico is, imagine what that means about how two different groups of people must really know very little about each other. Or better said, most of the people in the U.S truly know very, very little about people in Mexico and other countries too.